Hello, my name is Jacob, and I am a Norse pagan, and welcome to the Wisdom of Odin. I'm making this video for the thousands of new subscribers that are here. The Wisdom of Odin has been around for about 18 months as of the filming of this video, and in that time has gone up to above 26,000 subscribers, many of which who have shown up in the last few months. I've been receiving a lot of questions lately on the type of content here and getting requested to make videos that I've already made. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and make this as almost an index for playlists that I've created and videos that I have made that will hopefully answer a lot of questions, but also give you as a starting ground to navigate the wide variety of content available to you here on the Wisdom of Odin. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to Norse paganism for beginners. I believe there's almost, uh, there's over 20 videos in there, a lot of them some of my most popular. So if you have any basic or beginner questions, you will find most of them in here. When I first started the Wisdom of Odin, I noticed there was also a lack of videos on the actual rituals or offerings to the gods because I couldn't find them. Um, and they're very rare of people actually showing their practice. And I know it's a very sacred thing, but going into the Wisdom of Odin, I said, no, I'm gonna record almost everything for people to see. And one of those things is my offerings to the gods. I have a ton of videos on my offerings to Odin, offerings to Thor, um, even offerings like Freya and Njord. Um, I have a lot of videos out there of these offerings and even you know, a how-to guide on how to give a basic offering. So if you wanna learn more about these offerings to the gods and the crazy events that happen after these offerings, they are all recorded for you to watch and learn from here in this playlist. Now, the next question that I get all the time, and this is actually probably my, my most popular video when I first started, and that is books. What books should you buy? What books should you look into? And if you wanna learn more about that, I have a few lists of books that I have bought as well as reviews of books that have come across my way over the last 18 months, and you can find them all in here. Um, now, if you're watching this on a mobile, I believe what I'm pointing at is the card. So if you look for them, the card should be in here, but otherwise um, they should be in the description below. I'll make sure I leave a link for everything. Now, something that I've become known for, I believe, in the wisdom of Odin is putting on these um, pagan gatherings. Now, following along with my commitment to make entertaining and informative content, I have recorded these gatherings for you to witness, as well as for you to almost be as part of the event with us. Now, it's not obviously the entire event. Most recently, this last gathering was three days, and so that would be a lot of video footage. So typically, they are between 10 and 40 minutes long as far as the major gatherings we have put on. So if you are interested in seeing that content, Content, as well as the reveal trailers, the information around them, and want to find out more about gatherings, that playlist is here for you as well. So my background of information as far as who I am. I have an art studio degree from the University of Kentucky and I currently live in Kentucky. I did have a focus on painting originally until you find out painters don't make any money. And so I actually moved, and this is actually one of my paintings behind me. Um, I really did love painting and I transitioned painting into videography in a way. Um, I, would, I was a freelance photographer for a long time, still am technically, but also this transitioned me to video work and what I'm doing now. So one of the coolest things that I have done, and hopefully actually a couple days after this video releases, I did the music video for OC and the Jupiter for their song Appalachia. And so I've definitely dove more into heavy video work as far as my career as well. Now I am a full-time YouTuber, which I'm so glad for, but I do do these side projects as far as um, doing these music videos and hopefully even more and more. I also do reviews for video games on the website, The Mint Guardian. So right now, as of this video releasing, I have a review for Assassin's Creed Valhalla available there. And coming up soon, I'll have my review for the uh, um, God of War game that came out a few years ago about Norse mythology. So I'm trying to expand my horizons as far as the you know amount of content I have, but we still have more to cover. So let me dive more into the index of what this is. So if you're looking for more information on like research subjects, I have done some of those videos. I haven't done a lot of them just because I don't wanna provide information that is incorrect and I wanna make sure I do thorough research. So I have this series I call Seeking Wisdom. If you wanna learn more about you know, things like the Norns, if you wanna learn about Valhalla and the afterlife, if you wanna learn about Ragnarok, this is the content for you. It's very, I try to make it entertaining, but it's still dry because I am just reading to you sources, I'm giving you the information, and at the end of the videos, I typically go into what I think this means as far as a modern practitioner of this faith. So I also run a podcast. I don't know if I'll be able to link it up here, but I will make sure I leave the information down below. I have a podcast I've been doing for about 
for about three or four months now called The Folk Podcast. Now, this is similar to the Know Your Folk series, except I don't interview content creators. While we have had people that have decent sized Instagrams on there before, the main focus of The Folk Podcast is to interview people just like you that have started this path for the first time, who have unique stories, who have unique experiences they wanna share. So we typically tackle a subject for the week and we have a guest on from somewhere in the community that um, discusses this topic with us. Now we do occasionally break off and just have general discussions. I run this podcast with three other co-hosts, um, my fr two friends, Caleb and Caleb, and Ian within the community as well, who have all attended these gatherings, who have just been my friends through uh, thick and thin this last 18 months. So we all run that together. We do it every single week. Um, and so far it's been a great success and just a lot of fun. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about that, all the information will be down below. I hope you listen to the Folk Podcast. It's a lot of fun. It allows me to be a little bit more informal, less script writing, more just conversation. I hope this has given you a, you know, a relatively quick index of the type of content you'll find here on The Wisdom of Odin. It is constantly changing. And there's some videos I simply cannot put into a playlist that you'll just find scattered throughout here um, that you know have been entertaining or at least just informative. I do do some vlog style videos, but for the most part, those are available on my Patreon. Um, on that, I do have a Patreon account. This is the main lifeblood of the Wisdom of Odin. It's why I'm able to do this full time, why I'm able to make so many videos and spend so, many, uh, so much time on these as well, is I do run solely basically off Patreon nowadays. It's been a wonderful community. Um, I'm so thankful that I'm allowed to do this full time because it was getting crazy trying to work a normal 40 hour a week job and run the Wisdom of Odin. Um, so this is the best job I've ever had and I hope I never have to leave it. So if you are interested in supporting this channel and what I do, um, please go to the link down below to support me on Patreon. I do try to offer as many rewards as possible um, for just the $5 tier. You do get into our Wisdom of Odin Discord, which is a wonderful community, um, always active. If anything, it's probably my favorite social media account as far as like Norse paganism because you can go in there anytime and say, hey, I have a question and there is always someone there to help you out. It's been a really wonderful community to be a part of. Um, for the $10 tier, you do gain access to um, two live streams a month and you gain, uh, every occasionally I do have a vote come on that people can vote on, but mostly it's for the live streams. I do live streams every, uh, every two weeks and typically there's only 30 or 40 people in there. So you get a little bit more personal time with me to ask me questions on your journey, but also I discuss upcoming topics and kind of work things out with the community. Um, the final tier is the $15 tier, and this is how you end up in the end of videos. This is how you end up in the credits, but also I'm always tweaking this tier because I wanna make sure I give so much more back to this community. So I do offer early access videos when available. So usually like a week ahead, hey, this video is coming out, you get it early, uh, a week early. I also offer my vlog there for the most part now. That's something that I've kind of tweaked recently is that I've been doing more vlogs where I kind of show you behind the scenes, put you inside of my head as far as my thought process and share those there as well. So lastly, the thing I wanna leave you with there is something that I get asked all the time. And it's sometimes gotten quite serious, but a lot of people wanna know why the Wisdom of Odin exists, what my platform is being used for. And quite frankly, I said it in episode two, the second video I ever made was called The Three Pillars of Paganism. Um, and in this video, I discuss what I find to be the most important aspects of paganism. And to, and to me, that is the gods, the folk, and the spirit. Those three things to me are equal in importance. To honor the land we live on, to honor the gods we, uh, we put above ourselves, and to honor the community. And so to me, I respect anyone who can put those three things above themselves. And that's what I make all these videos with the mindset of. I do this not for me, I do this for the community, for the gods, and for the spirits of the land we live on. And to me, that has been the core principle behind the Wisdom of Odin. Yes, it's morphed and changed. I started just as a vlog and a helpful guide, and now I'm putting on these gatherings, I'm making music videos, and it's blown up, it's crazy. But to me, I have never moved past that second episode where I simply talk about the gods, the folk, and the spirits. And to me, those are the most important thing about this faith. And of course, a lot of people wanna know my political opinion. They wanna know my opinion on all these issues, but truly I am a Norse pagan. I care about this community and sharing this information and sharing my journey. And I feel like that's what I gotta focus on. Um, if you wanna learn more about my politics, I'm sorry, you're just not. I mean, this is my life. My, you know, To me, my politics are very private and they don't agree with one group or dogma out there. So there's really no sense of me sharing them. 
Now, a lot of people want to know about my views on race. I mean, this is something I have discussed, but never in one video. I don't have a video titled my views on race or anything like that, but I like to live my life by actions and I like to show people what I believe in. I have talked about this topic various times throughout the channel and through various podcast interviews that I have also been on. If you watch my content, you watch these gatherings, I truly believe you'll see the large amount of diversity we have in people that worship the old gods. And it's something that I noticed along the way as well is that the amount of people from around the world from various backgrounds all are feeling the call of the gods and to me that is what is most important we are all from the earth and bone religions paganism used to be the world religion just from various viewpoints and gods and deities and so no that has not changed in our modern world we're all just trying to get back to the old ways I believe at a gathering you're gonna see people from all different walks of life from all ends of the spectrum from across the world and I truly believe that this is the answer our answer needs to be action, not just words. And so that is why the wisdom of Odin, you will not see me stand on a pedestal shouting these things to the heavens. I will show you my actions. So the last, the very last thing I'll leave you with is something that I close out with every single video, and that is until the hall. I've been talking about this for a long time, and don't worry, it's still in the works. The plan is still to buy some land, build a hall, and celebrate as true heathens, pagans, ostrichry, whatever you want to call yourself, and put those three things above ourselves. So the hall is still happening. Look for more information soon, and I hope you enjoy what I have to offer you here on the Wisdom of Odin. So until the hall, skull. <laughs>